So, we made a homemade trailer of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. There's tons of crazy costumes and stunts in this, so let's take a look at how it was made. We were all really big fans of the Ninja Turtles when we were kids. This movie was super popular, so we were really excited to make these costumes and put this together. Now the costumes are very iconic, so we had to get them looking just right, especially the heads and the faces. We scoured the 99 cent store looking for different shaped containers, and we ended up settling on like a plastic fruit bowl. The top shape was like a children's police helmet. And then for the bottom jaw, it's just another type of bowl. I think it's like a microwave cover plate thingy or something. Now, since people were gonna be wearing these helmets and riding skateboards and doing stunts and stuff, we made sure that the eyes were removable. And those are just the ends of plastic spoons that I cut and we drew the pupils on there. So once all the bowls are assembled and you paint it green and then you put the mask on and then you put the eyeballs in, it looks like a Ninja Turtle. Hmm? Whoa, shit. <laughs> Then we had to move on to the rest of the body, and we had to make four of these things. This is my favorite thing I've ever seen, like a little <laughs> turtle pile. Couldn't really find too many green turtlenecks, but we've got a combination of sweaters and button-up shirts that you can just wear backwards and pop the collar up. There you go. <laughs> Cowabunga! So, green tops, green sweats, or green pants. Then we've got the shell on the front, which is just some cardboard that we just cut out the right way. Threw the lines on there spray painted it yellowed, and then you've got the back shell, which is also from the 99 cent store. It's one of those tin foil pans. We found some pans that have the perfect shell shape, and they actually have like a shell pattern on them, which is really cool. They're a little smaller than what we wanted to use, but they're so funny that they look exactly like turtle shells right off the shelf. So we just painted those brown, tied some string on it, so you kind of put it on like a backpack. Each front of the shell has a strap glued onto it. Donatello has one going this way, and Leo has two little straps going this way, and that's glued to the front, so that way when we put the front and back shells on, you can tie it around the back and it all kind of holds into place. And then we've got hands, which are just gloves where we kind of cut the fingers and tape them together into turtle hands. We've got feet that Ben made out of two tube socks each and kind of made the two big toes. Each turtle has its own weapons, of course. Donatello has a bow, which is just a piece of PVC pipe painted brown. And we've got nunchucks that we made and two cardboard swords for Leo. And then we made two sides that Raphael uses and it's just a piece of pipe with butter knives duct taped to it. It was all very interchangeable and sometimes you'd be this turtle, then maybe you swap your head and become a different turtle for a different shot. Maybe you swap your shell around and so we could all just put on different pieces at different times depending on what the shot called for. This trailer also has lots of foot soldiers in it. And we decided that at any given time we only need to see a maximum of three. So we had to make three outfits, which just consists of black shirt, black pants, that's easy enough. Then I decided to just make some black masks out of a black t-shirt. So I cut the shape and kind of hot glued it. But for the eyes, we really wanted to get those specific bug eyes that they have in the movie. So what I ended up using was some clear plastic salad serving spoon things. And they have just the right shape. We've been looking for you, Miss O'Neill. Then the material that goes over the eyes is that rubbery non-slip matte stuff that you use for like your dishes on your counter. Then they have red headbands with a little symbol on it. So those are fairly easy. Made three of those. And then Shredder. Shredder's outfit was really cool. He's got tons of little blades sticking out everywhere. And then Shredder has a big cool blade thing that you just hold on to like that, just on one hand though. The mask was really iconic. Ben made this thing out of cardboard and the corner of a clear water jug. What's funny is when you paint it with that silver shiny paint, it just looks so deadly and so threatening and it looks like metal along the sides and the back. We use the same material, which is that non-slip matte stuff. So it has a really cool heavy duty looking texture, but it's just that light rubbery stuff. And then there's the top piece with the three spikes and it was really tricky to get the geometry on that right. So it's just a red ladies blouse, I think. And I think it was ladies pants too. And then you just tie everything else on top of it. And then his cape was just trash bags. And Shredder is played by my friend Yasu. And he also played the character Tat and that was just a robe and some big funny shoulder pads and that was pretty much it. And he didn't shave his head for the roll. Not sure why he didn't want to do that. It's gonna go in front of the lens so a door will open. In a couple shots you've got April O'Neil. So we had our friend Catherine who was in our Die Hard video. Called her up to come and have her hair all poofy again. She loves that. Her costume was just a few miscellaneous items from the thrift store. Cut open a shirt to make a vest but she just pops up in a few shots. I wish that I could have turtles every day. Look at this. Look at this. This is great. 
So once all the costumes were made, we got a bunch of people together and shot all these crazy shots. Sometimes there's four turtles, three foot, clan, shredder, tatsu, april, whatever. So we just invited friends over and I think the shot that has the most people in it is seven people on camera at once. It goes by really fast, but so much is happening in that shot, you can barely register. So let's take a moment and appreciate everything that's happening in that shot. One, two, three. Alright, cool. And my wife is actually in that shot because we just needed another body. So she put on one of the turtle costumes and is dancing in the background and it was adorable. Hi! <laughs> I'm using my sword to keep my face up. There are lots of little tricks and stunts in this and Ben pretty much did all of those I think. He's quite versatile. So we've got a lot of skateboard stunts in this and Ben rides a skateboard which is handy. It was pretty crazy seeing a full Ninja Turtle riding a skateboard in my front yard. You really get a sense of like, this looks like a cartoon or this looks like the movie, but it's real and it's really happening. There's some other stunts, just like some spin kicks and uh, cartwheel and punching dudes, kicking dudes, jumping over people, slicing some people with swords, which wouldn't really be that hard necessarily, but you gotta keep in mind, this is in a full turtle costume with turtle feet and turtle hands. And if we wanna have the eyeballs in there, which we pretty much always went with eyeballs, you can't see out of the helmet at all. So imagine doing all those skateboard tricks and jumping and stuff on the skateboard without being able to see anything. That's pretty much how it went down. And even though you could kind of see out of those foot soldier eyeballs, the plastic kind of warped in a weird way and it was like being inside of a fun house, but luckily they were pretty protective on the old eyeballs. Whoa! Sorry. You hit him in the eye? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see until it's too late. And down. Right in the eye. Some of the other gags that we had to do that were in the trailer were two shells smashing a guy, shooting water out of the turtle's mouth, which we just shot out of a little plastic syringe thingy, spinning around on the ground where Ben spun around on a little furniture dolly and we just pulled his feet and hands and spun him around. There's a shot of nunchucks spinning on Michelangelo's finger and so we made a special pair out of cardboard and just connected them with a the wire in the middle and it goes down into the finger. When the Foot Clan come crashing through some doors and windows, Windows. We just set up some cardboard kind of fake window pieces and did it through my front door. So you're here for the party. We are here for the party. I told you you didn't have to break the door down. Sorry. Just ring the doorbell. When Ben would jump through, somebody would toss a bunch of extra shards of cardboard so it just looked like he's bursting through. We did make a pizza out of some paper and some cardboard because it was a lot less messy than using a real pizza. You can throw it up in the air. A real piece of pizza does land though, so that's magic. Pizza! <laughs> in a handful of shots, a uh, turtle needs to talk and we decided it was probably too difficult to make the masks that we're gonna wear as helmets also be able to talk so we made a separate one that is just a full-on puppet so it's a little smaller than the others because it doesn't have to be so huge to fit on we made a separate jaw that has some hinges on the side and it has the inside of the mouth and that one has some teeth and so you can just puppet that thing separately as a turtle a blind turtle. We just used a real body, so somebody's wearing the outfit, so you can see their shoulders and you can see their arms. And then I lean down in front and I hold up the front of the shell to cover up my arm and then basically just puppet the head separately in front of the person wearing the costume, which was usually Ben. So Ben's kind of back there with his head back hiding and then the puppet head just goes in front and blocks his real head. It's kind of a team effort there to get the arms moving at the right moment and the head. It was very Jim Henson at that moment. Just seeing it even in real life was just so crazy looking. Awesome! We used the same sort of idea for the backwards shot of when he ducks all the way down and the head goes down. We could have just ducked forward, it probably would have sort of worked, but we really want to get that same way they did it, where the head just goes down into the shell. One, two, three. The shot where the manhole cover flies off and some steam comes out, we probably would normally do much smaller, but we did that full size because we we're gonna use the same sewer for Raphael's head peeking through and we already have the full size head. So we just put the smoke machine pointing straight up and we yanked the lid off with fishing string and had it go flying into the air. And then Ben catches it and then kind of has it like land and create a shadow in the background. There's only two miniature shots in this. One of them when Raphael sort of gets hit by the taxi. So we made sort of half of a taxi and set up a little city block using a lot of the buildings that we have and little Hot Wheels cars and stuff. Our stunt double today for Raphael is actually Doc Brown. We just put a little mask, a little hat, and some uh, rain boots, but this is actually the Doc Brown that I made. 
And the other miniature shot is when the two shells pop up in the water. So we just did that in my kitchen sink, put a little building over there and made a little fence, put like a bush there in the background, put some little shells made out of some plastic water bottles painted brown on some wires that we could just kind of pull up out of the water at the right moment. I love being a turtle! One interesting thing that we did notice is that none of the voices in this trailer are the same as the finished voices in the movie. So I'm sitting here replicating all these voices, but they're not the real turtle voices. I did the sound effects and the voices and did my usual acapella musical score to this. This one is a little different because it has more of a beat to it than usual. And it has like a sweet 80s, 90s, like slap bass, kind of like the Seinfeld sounding track. So that was different. <laughs> Who needs a real base? Well, that's how we made it. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and come back to Cinefix every Tuesday for new episodes and let us know what other trailers and scenes you want to see us try. I suddenly have the urge for pizza. Ooh, here it is. Wait, it's cardboard. The best roll yet. Old lady. Amadeus. Awesome!